Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at the 1-100 scale Gundam Vidar from the series Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, specifically Season 2. I always like the look of this kit and this Gundam in general. Decided to pick it up and see what we got. So, let's have a look. Now the main frame on this kit is, well, the same Gundam frame we've been building for some time now. No real changes. The back skirt armor is a little different, the head is a little different, and of course the feet are a little different. The feet are kind of interesting on this kit. Those gray parts can flip around and act as blades. Obviously you have to have him on an action base to pull that off, but still. And here's the head with the pink back and the pink eyes. Looks kind of cute right now. That's about to change. Now I love the head sculpt on this kit. Very vicious demon looking thing the v fin the shoulders look good arms look good everywhere you see black though on the blue parts that's all lining even those big gaps so there is a ton of lining to do on this kit everywhere old high grade double x levels of lining every single piece you got some stuff to do on and like i said on those shoulders big gaps on the chest big gaps armor up the legs Big old giant thrusters on the front and the back of the legs. More lining on the knees, on the feet, on the thighs, on the side skirt, front skirt. I mean, yeah, there's lining everywhere. Big old giant side skirt on this thing with thrusters on the side. Like I said, more thrusters on the back of the legs. And the side skirts and the back skirts and the front skirts. Guess what? More lining. Those parts there that look black, they're actually dark brown. So even on those parts... You have lining to do. But yeah, looks really, really good. Accessories. You got a machine gun here. Nice, simple, nothing too fancy. Because of the way the hand's structured, it can just slide right into the hand. No need to take it apart, no need to make things complicated. Slide it in, holds it no problem. Even with all the stuff on the side skirt, you can get a nice big wide stance, lots of posing options. Two handguns, which don't move at all and pretty simple, but still look nice. Again, slide them around of the hands, no trouble whatsoever. Put them wherever you want, they weigh nothing, so no problem there. When not used, they can be stored here under the front skirt armor, locked in place. They don't drop at all, no problems. And next you have the lance, or rapier, or sword, or whatever you want to call it. This is actually really cool. This will slide right into the hand. There's no need to take the, the hands apart, but you can do so if you want to make things a little easier. And on the top of the side skirts, we have three blades, or tips, or I don't know what you call them. You put the handle in there, and you can pull out each individual blade. See, this one's a little warped, but it's not the end of the world. And they give you these hands here, which are meant to act as if you're it's unsheathing the blade and popping it out. Quite frankly, it's more trouble than it's worth. You're probably never going to use it, but it's there if you want it. So that's nice. And you can sheath them, unsheath them, take them from any side you want. The idea being that this Gundam, since there is no beam sabers, it attacks it. The enemy, it gets damaged, it pulls out a new one. No problem. You can... Take the side skirt and uh, pull them out so you can act like it's pulling out the full blade. And obviously it doesn't weigh much, so no problem holding it. Pose anything you like with it. Final thoughts on this kit. This kit is getting a huge thumbs up. I was very surprised how good this kit is. It's got a great look. Accessories are all good. Posability is excellent, despite the fact that it has giant skirt armor on the sides. And the feet are kind of wonky, but... Excellent posability, very good accessories, great look, solid all the way around. This is my favorite kit of the Iron-Blooded Orphans line that I've built so far. I love this thing. Excellent kit. I dream of a Master Grade, if just making the accessories a little better. And give it some decals, a little more detail work, but not much really on the Gundam. But I don't think I'll see it, but still, excellent kit. Highly recommended, and for the price, it's a great pickup. Thumbs up. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask them. 
I will answer them as best I can. Please stay tuned for more. I always got more reviews coming, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Die! 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 Okay, enough with the Overwatch references. Never.